Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and uh, yes, it's the Christmas event update. It's here uh, and uh, it's totally awesome. So much new content to show you. So I think we're just gonna go straight into it because uh, otherwise this video will be way too long. First of all, we need to take a look at this newly created island. It's located directly near the beach at Port Jackson over here, as you can see. So you can walk across here and get to this new island. It's totally awesome. <laughs> it's not every day we get uh, a new island just for an event update. Uh, we have this advent calendar. Uh, so this is something that we will investigate and check out a little bit later. Because uh, this will start 14th of December by opening door number one. And then it will keep going until. 25th of December and over at this part of the island you also have this quest start uh, however it's not possible to see it right now because I did the quest in the previous video so if you haven't checked it out just go and do that if you need assistance in finding all those Christmas presents but basically Santa is here with a sleigh it has a malfunction you need to find a lot of presents 40 of them to be precise. Once you have done that you will receive a gift and that gift is something that you will be able to open on 25th of December. So we're gonna just check it out. It's this gift from Santa. It looks like this. And as you can see there's a timer here. So we need to wait for additional a little bit over 16 days until we can see what's inside. So that's gonna be super exciting. Yes, and we're gonna start off by checking the different kind of Christmas rods that we have for this event. Those are skins that we can get from the silver chest in Port Jackson. It's something that we have seen already from uh, previous year, so no surprise. Even though there are no mythic skins <laughs> on the rod, there's still a lot of activity going on around the silver chest as usual. Because these are limited skins, you can only get them now. Well, maybe next, uh, <laughs> next Christmas, but uh, yeah, for now, this is the opportunity that you have. So, <laughs> grab it while you can. And we're gonna start with the North Pole rod. It's an epic quality of a rod. It has plus 15% reeling speed. And we're gonna do a little bit of a free camera. Yeah, so it looks like this. And when you fish, you will throw away a part of the sign. The NO will be part of the bobber, as we're gonna see very shortly. So we're gonna go down to the water. First of all, we're gonna check if it has a glow. And clearly, it doesn't have a glow. And we're gonna go out where it's <laughs> better visibility. And when you start to fish, as you can see, part of the sign becomes a bobber. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. No glow on the bobber either. And it's a pretty basic rod. And then we're gonna move on to the next epic rod. It's the Christmas Lights rod. It looks like this. It has 5% reeling speed and 10% rarity chance. We're gonna do a free camera of this as well. As you can see, it has some really nice string lights on it. <laughs> Very cool. And of course, we need to take it for a run through this dark tunnel to see if any of those lights are actually emitting any lights. So as you can see, it's a neon texture, but it doesn't emit any glow. Still looks cool though. <laughs> but we're gonna also try to test it for fishing. So when you throw the bobber, that's the red ball up in the top. As you can see, this doesn't emit any glow either underneath the water. But we're just gonna grab this fish anyway. That's the Christmas lights rod. And uh, then we have the Northern lights rod. It looks like this. And uh, yeah, this one is a little bit strange. It has 5% reeling speed, 5% rarity chance, 5% strength and 5% hook speed. It doesn't really match the picture <laughs> since the top is white on the picture but in reality it's black and I believe it was changed to, uh, to become white for a period of time but it's apparently black again so I don't really know what's going on but uh, it looks like some <laughs> I don't know a big lump of coal or something you can run around with it like this like a cat toy or something but we're gonna test out if this emits any glow so clearly it doesn't it's a neon skin and when you're gonna fish it's not gonna glow up because this dark bobber doesn't emit anything and that's no big surprise and i almost forgot we're gonna take it for a free camera as well of course so it looks like this and this is a legendary skin by the way pretty cool 
And uh, then we're gonna end up with the, the last legendary skin. It's the Candy Cane Rod. It looks like this. It has 20% rarity chance. We're gonna jump into the free camera right away. Looks, uh, yeah, like a candy cane. <laughs> no, no big surprise. Nothing that seems to be glowing. We're gonna check if something emits any light here in the dark. And clearly it doesn't, so <laughs> no big surprise. Uh, we're gonna check it uh, underneath the water. So it's... Uh, it's the little bell that uh, acts like the bobber this time. So we're gonna get that stingray. Perfect. And those are the four rod skins that we have now during this Christmas event. And uh, from here we're gonna move on to... What should we take? So many things to, <laughs> to choose from. And we can jump to, let's say, boats. Yeah, we're gonna go for boats. Yes, and uh, so here we are at Deckard's boats. And... Uh, yeah, and we're gonna start with the gingerbread boat. I have already bought it two years ago, but it has a price of 6,200 gems. It has a maximum health of 150 and a top speed of 75. It has this instant value of up to 45%, meaning that you will get money as you fish without having to sell. What also worth to mention is that sea monsters won't attack unless provoked, and it has five passenger seats. Under customization, there is something strange though. So there is currently no customizations at all on this boat. It has been in the past, so I don't know really what has happened. So you could add the neon colors on different things here and all. And uh, yeah, so something is, I don't know, not working currently. But regardless, we're gonna equip it and we're gonna go for a very, very short ride because yeah, this is gonna be a long video otherwise. So as you can see, here it is, it's quite big. <laughs> oh my god, I can spawn <laughs> more than just one of them and I can't control them. That's <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, so as you can see, there is uh, yeah, there's an issue maybe with this boat, I don't know. Because I haven't seen this one before. And uh, yeah, well, regardless of that, I can't drive it currently. But uh, this is what it looks like and uh, I can't control it either. So hopefully it's something that they will fix. And I think I might need to go to a new server because I can't spawn any other boats. Yes, and here we are back at Deckard's boat. So we have the Santa Sleigh. It has a maximum health of 700 and a top speed of 120. But here we have the specialty that is really, really special because this is the only boat still in the game that has reeling speed as a specialty so it has up to 50 in extra reeling speed which is totally awesome and that makes this boat very very special it has a price of 15,000 gems so it's still a very expensive boat though but it is very very unique and special so this is i would say the best boat I could recommend out of the three without even having <laughs> looked at the last one but uh, yeah we're gonna spawn it we're first gonna try to customize it so you have primary and secondary color as you can see here I'm not gonna make any adjustments now but those are the options that you have so it's pretty simplified no customizations on the present or the lantern that you have here on the boat so nothing like that but uh, we're gonna let's go back out here and we're gonna equip it and we're gonna spawn it and see what it looks like and how it behaves yes and so here we have it so you have the driver position and you have a passenger seat as I said before, the reeling speed, that, that's what makes this boat very, very special. So, so if you want to reel a lot of fish, yeah, then this boat is the one for you. Because combine it with, uh, say, let's see, we take Crystal Rod, that also already have plus 25% more in reeling speed. This combination makes you be able to reel fish quite fast, actually. So we're going to see how that looks like. So here we have a fish. We're gonna reel it. And as you could see, that reeling speed was pretty fast, wasn't it? So, this is where you really want to get a lot of fish very fast. It's a really good boat, basically. And uh, I used, actually, this boat combined with this crystal rod when I was getting my key to the city because I wanted to reel a lot of fish, basically. So, highly recommend this boat. But sure, 15,000 gems is quite a lot. But I would say if you do fish a lot, it's well worth it. Yes, but now we have, <laughs> for the first time, 
something that is brand new, the Crystal Carp. It comes in at the price of 4000 gems. It has a maximum health of 200 and a top speed of 100. I don't know, it looks like a one seater and it looks pretty big I believe. So it's the first time I'm gonna spend gems and that's been a while since I did that. So we're gonna buy this one for 4000 gems, like that. And we're gonna go and customize it and see what we can customize. I don't think we're gonna be able to customize that much. Uh, we have the light, so that is inside here of the fish. We have the light frame, which is also part of the light. And we have main eyes. Yes, eyes. Makes me wonder, is this always transparent? Are we gonna find out? But uh, we need to maximize uh, the health and speed first. So we're gonna go and do a time lapse on that. And uh, there we go, maximum health 200, it's, <laughs> it's really bad. And a top speed of 100, so we can at least fight Mubi in it. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that in this video, we don't, we don't really have the time for that. But uh, regardless, we're gonna spawn it, it's already equipped. So we're gonna go out and see what it looks like. First time I ever see this. Ooh, but okay, so do we have passenger seats? Yeah, so we have... Let's see, we have one, we have two. Two passenger seats and one position where you can drive it. So there are no extra seats up here. And here we have it. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna try the light. Yeah, I wonder if it has colored light, by the way. We, we might actually go and find out, so be right back. Okay, so here we are again. I also changed the main color of the eyes to become green. And uh, yeah even the ordinary green color became transparent that's very cool actually and uh, we're gonna try the color uh, so i choose a red color on the light but it doesn't really show us red i believe can we see no did i i I'm, i must go back and check did i actually change it to red or did i forgot yeah so apparently i forgot we need to apply red color as well and here we are again this time we have a red lantern and yes, we do get the colored light from this boat, so <laughs> that's perfect. And uh, if you use Creature Locator, since it's a very transparent boat, you're gonna see the arrow pretty clear, so that's also pretty good. And you're not gonna have any problems at all, actually, to hunt with it. You have a pretty high position in the boat, so that's pretty unique, I, I would say. But uh, yeah, so here it is. We're gonna go with a free camera, because it's very new. <laughs> very very special all right so there you have it those were the new boats that we had in this christmas event yes and then we're going to continue with the backpacks so we have four backpacks during the christmas event we're going to go and talk to finn so we have backpacks here and these are the four that you can get during the event we're gonna start with the smallest one, and that's the totally legal bag. The owner of this bag was taking a loan from the bank. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Backpack space 450, and it has a price of 2500 gems. And since I haven't bought it yet, I'm gonna buy it right now. So there we go, 2500 gems. And uh, this is what it looks like on the, <laughs> on the back. So <laughs> really cool, actually. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, and we're gonna do a free camera, and as you can see, a lot of bills here, nice, and a mask. <laughs> Makes me look like a criminal, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, so that's that one. Pretty cool, I don't see anything that could emit glow or anything, so we're not gonna test that. And we're gonna move on to the next one. So back to Finn again, go to backpack, and the second smallest, which is still large, uh, is the Santa's gift bag. It has a price of 3600 gems and uh, your personal toy collection. Yes, so we equip it. There we go. I think this backpack is two years old now in the game. We're gonna do a free camera. Looks like this. Doesn't really reveal anything on the inside. It's a, it's a pretty cool backpack. It's well into the Christmas theme. 
And the second largest backpack that we have is the Christmas stocking. Fits all the fish on your <laughs> wish list in here. Backpack space is 630, so it's quite a lot of space. It has a price of 4300 gems. And we're gonna equip it like this. And we're gonna go with a free camera. And as you can see, much more details on this one. You have small gifts or presents together with a teddy bear and some candy canes. <laughs> really cool. It uh, doesn't seem to emit any light or glow, so we're not going to test that either on this one. So yeah, very nice. And we're going to move on to the last backpack, which is probably the most interesting one. So back to Finn. And here we have it. Rudolph Companion. They say he is the most famous reindeer. Backpack space 800. So 800 backpack space is the second largest backpack in the game ever seen. The biggest one is the Cybernetics Glider with a thousand. And I believe the second largest before Christmas update was this bunny bag since Easter, which has a space of 700. So now we have this one with 800 and it has a price of 5000 gems, which I think is a good deal, to be honest. So <laughs> we're going to buy this one. That's uh, 5000 gems. Thank you. And it's equipped. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's a very cute backpack. Very, very cool. Well made. And this one is new for this Christmas event. We must also actually run away into this dark tunnel to see if this nose is just a neon texture or if it actually emits any light. <laughs> Still. Oh my god. <laughs> I got struck by lightning. Did you see that? Well, I guess you did. <laughs> I did at least. Okay, <laughs> and I'm gonna try it out here now with this lightning strike. Okay, well, this lightning effect doesn't <laughs> glow either, and uh, this nose doesn't emit any light either. So this is just a neon texture, and uh, yeah, there we go. What what a surprise! <laughs> oh boy. All right, that was the second time it happened, and it was the first time I ever had it recorded. The first time it happened, it was during a void storm. If you haven't seen the void storm video, you can go ahead and do that. But that was when I got the achievement. <laughs> so, yeah, totally unexpected and very fun. Regarding the backpack, I think it's a really cool and good looking backpack, not gonna lie. So, those were the backpacks, and we're gonna move on to the spears. But first we need to remove this effect, even though it's cool, <laughs> I can't have it. Uh, so the easiest way to do that is just to do a reset. That way uh, this effect will be gone again. <laughs> but it was fun, it was really fun. But now we're gonna go back to Finn again. We're gonna go and check out the spears. So there are three different spears and uh, two of them are new and we have one that is old. Uh, as you can see here, we can only see two of them, but if you scroll down, you will also see a candy cane spear, which has a damage of 750, and a specialty that freezes the target for two seconds. It has a price of 20,000 gems, so it's quite a lot, but with a damage of 750, you will one-shot sharks and orcas, which is great, so that's at least good. We're gonna equip it, see, there we go, and it looks like this, we're gonna go outside, it has no glow effect. Uh, we're gonna go and do a free camera. <laughs> it almost looks like this one, <laughs> but it's not. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a candy cane. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, we're gonna throw it just to see if it has a trail. And it doesn't. We're gonna throw it into the wall. Looks like that. <laughs> Easy to confuse with actually the original <laughs> wall decoration. But uh, yeah, pretty simple. And has been in previous Christmas event. We're gonna go back to Finn. And we're gonna test out something new. Here we have the Retro Spear. The smallest unit in a graphic display and large to hold in your hands. Damage 999. Not 1000. Okay. So it has the same specialty. It freezes the target for 2 seconds. And also has a price of 20,000 gems. So basically you get more damage if you buy this one, the Retro Spear. But uh, we're gonna buy it, so it's gonna cost me 20,000 gems. There we go. And we have it already equipped, that's perfect. And did you hear that sound? Yes, I think you did. 
you didn't, you're gonna hear it again pretty soon. <laughs> so it's like a very pixelated 8-bit spear, basically. It's very flat it's because it's supposed to be like low resolution. Does it have a trail? A very small trail. But uh, what makes it great is the sound when you hit something. Listen to this. Yeah, you might recognize that sound. That's the sound of Pac-Man. <laughs> it couldn't become more retro than that. Good old Pac-Man. So we're gonna throw it into the wall. Goes in pretty deep. Looks like that. <laughs> so there you have it. It's a very, very cool looking spear. But now we're gonna go back to Finn and we're gonna take a look at this last spear that he sells. So it's this one, Snow Globe. Be careful to not break the glass. Damage 1100 and the specialty is twice loot and double experience. It has a price of 25,000 gems, which is equal to Jaded Crystal Spear, which has the damage of 1000. So this is a good deal. Uh, we're gonna buy it and we're gonna see what it looks like. I see a lot of details up here that we need to take a closer look at. So here we go. And here we have it. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go outside. I saw a lot of details. I like it. <laughs> I like it already. So free camera. Is it too bright here? Maybe it's too bright. We're gonna go over here into the darkness and see. <laughs> it does emit. <laughs> it does emit light. It's the first item for tonight that actually does emit light. Very very nice. Finally. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a free camera here because that will show details even more. So there are actually small Christmas presents in the top. <laughs> Very cool. And lots of other special effects as you can see here. It's going to be fun to throw it and see what it actually looks like in air. So I think we're going to go and do that right away. We can throw it normally first. Yeah, it does have a sparkling effect. The tray looks good. This is what it looks like. Oh, it did have a special effect when it hit the wall. You see, it's like almost like fireworks. And it did have a small sound. Let's see if you can hear it. Yep, yeah, bells. Yep. Yeah. Not that strong sound effect, but it has some bell sound. <laughs> very, very cool. And you know what? The best thing? <laughs> You can buy this for gems, not charge. Yes. <laughs> All right. God, I should get some sleep. Wandering merchant in seven and a half hour. Ah, oh, and I'm not even done with this video. All right. Well, there we have it. I think we have covered all the items. That took a while, but I think we have reached the goal. Yes, and I was almost <laughs> I was almost about to end the video right there, but I forgot something. I forgot about the fish. The special fish. Yeah, we need to take a closer look at that as well, of course. So if you take a look at the fish index and scroll down, here you have Christmas carols. And uh, here we have five different kinds of fishes. We have an ornament puffer fish, which is a legendary one. We have the candy cane fish, which uh, is an uncommon one. We have the common gingerbread fish, <laughs> looks great. And we have the epic ornament bass, yeah, very cool. And we have the ornament goldfish, which is the mythic one. And you can catch them all from this new island. Regardless the weather, you will always be able to catch them, so that's great. And of course, we need to take a look at, <laughs> at the actual model as well. So here we have the gingerbread fish. <laughs> very, very cool. We're gonna get mutations of these later, but not for this video. And we have a, <laughs> this huge candy cane fish. Totally awesome. Simple in its model, but still very, very cool. And we have an ornament bass. <laughs> I can only laugh at it. <laughs> it's great. It's really great. And we have an ornament puffer fish. A little bit flat, but then again, it's an ornament. So <laughs> really, really good. And uh, then we have the last one, which is the ornament goldfish. Looks like this. Amazing. Is it like a ribbon here? From, if you see it from above? I think it is. That's very creative. I love it. <laughs> really, really well made. So yes, there you have it. So... 
In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.